In this lesson, I'd like to show you one of the amazing new features in InDesign CS5 called Live Corner Effects. Live Corner Effects allows you to adjust the corner effects that are applied to a selected frame quickly and easily without having to go into a dialog box. Now, we've always been able to adjust the corner options of a selected frame by selecting the frame with our selection tool and then going to the object menu and choosing corner options. And you can see that even in InDesign CS5, this dialog box has significantly changed compared to prior versions because I can now adjust the corner options applied to each corner independently of the other. Or I can click the Make All Settings the Same checkbox and adjust them all together. So I'm going to cancel out of this for now because I want to show you an even better way that InDesign CS5 allows us to adjust our corner options. What I'm going to do is in the upper right hand corner of a selected text or graphic frame, I can click on this little yellow square that allows me to edit the corners. So when I click on that square, you'll notice that a diamond appears on each corner of the selected frame. And if I click on one of these diamonds and I drag left to right, I can adjust the overall settings for all of the selected corners in the frame. And I can even come up here to the control panel and I have a new menu that allows me to choose the effect that's applied to that frame as well as the radius as you can see by this field right here. Now I'm going to set this frame back to none. In addition to being able to change the corners that way, I can also use a keyboard shortcut that makes this process very easily. If I hold down the Shift, Option, and Command key, or the Shift, Alt, Control key on Windows, I can click on one of these live corners and drag, and you'll notice that only that corner is being changed. So I'm actually going to do that for the top and for the lower left corner. So I'll set maybe both of these to about 18 points and you can see that I've already changed one of these corner options because if I hold down that same keyboard shortcut, Shift Option Command or Shift Alt Control, and I click on one of these diamonds, I can change the effect that's applied to that corner as well. So I want to set the upper left and the upper right corner to rounded. Once again, you can see that as I make these changes, I can see the value that's being applied. So I'm going to set both of these to about 18 points so that you can see how easy it is to adjust these corners. And that is how easy it is to use the live effects options inside of InDesign CS5.